And uh, I want to thank Sinn Féin for uh, giving us the opportunity to speak once again, although I despair of continued talking on a continuous basis with a few minutes, with different motions trying to draw attention to a housing crisis over and over and over since the day I was elected in February 16. And we have a minister who thinks it's a debating competition and scoring points across the floor at Sinn Féin in, in a manner that's not befitting to the doll in where we have a housing crisis. We have Simon, we can quote any report and many reports. I'm taking Simon because they have consistently done a snapshot study every quarter over a number of days. Their latest one in March told us that this is the 25th snapshot study. The minister stood here um, and told us all of the facts that things were improving. The March 22 locked out of the market report shows yet another stark decline in the availability of affordable properties. And it goes on to mention in particular the end of the COVID enforced renter restrictions having a particular bearing. The private rental market is affected by the ongoing contraction in supply, the increase in rental prices and an overall lack of affordability. There was a strong decrease in the number of properties available to rent within the standard or discretionary HAP rates, and it goes on. And then we look at Galway City and Galway County. In Galway City, there, was absolutely, there were seven properties available for rent. Not a single one of them came under the HAP criteria. There were no properties affordable under the standard or the discretionary HAP rate for any of the households examined. There was only one bedroom of property available to rent during the study <coughs> period at 1,430 a month, a one bedroom property. Rents ranged for three bedrooms from 2,440 to 2,875. I wish I had more time to repeat the figures because they're absolutely stark, stark and they make a mockery of what the minister has told us. Rents in Galway County rose at an extraordinary rate of 19%. That was up 122.9% from the trough. In Galway City, we rose by 8.8%, what might seem a little smaller, but it was 115.5% 115, from the trough. Homelessness has increased in Galway. We have 280 adults in official homeless emergency accommodation and we know the figure nationally is once again approaching 10,000. I am absolutely at my wit's end walking in Dublin and seeing people on the street and in Galway while we are spending billions on a housing policy that's not relieving the situation but adding to it. And why do I say that, Minister? Because at a Conservative estimate, over one billion per year is going straight in to the landlord's pocket. And I have never decried landlords ever in my life. We need them and we certainly need small builders. And I have, I have a conflict here because my father was a small builder in the past, among many other jobs that he did. And we need more small builders. But what's gone here and what's, in, in, what's absent is a recognition that you are ideologically committed to the market. And if to the point of putting in billions into the private market to keep rents artificially high. And, a, and then the consequence of that is homelessness, high rents and a continuous lack of security for people. Impossible for anybody in that situation to participate in democracy or make their views known or look after their children. The most crucial thing, the most fundamental thing is security of tenure in a house. And the government, whichever government, has to commit to being in the market. They have to be Elor on Aene, in the middle of the market, providing public housing with absolutely no division. There shouldn't be a division between the public housing and the private housing, the cost rental. We have a housing task force in Galway now, Minister, for years, and I haven't seen one single report that has analysed the cause of the problem in Galway. And in my limited experience, which was 17 years on a local council, I saw what was happening. From 2009, not a single public house was constructed. I repeat, 
Not one single public house was constructed in Galway. All of the eggs went into the basket of Hap. And indeed, we were told in very plain English that was the only game in town. And so I saw a crisis build up year after year after year and still building up. And the only difference now, Minister, is we're actually putting more money in for the wrong reasons. Now, I would like to know where is the audit? from the Land Development Agency. They were set up on a non-statutory basis prior to the legislation. And one of their first tasks was to give us a, a, an audit of all the public land available. And in my last 30 seconds, I'm once again going to highlight that Galway City, one of the five cities destined to grow and increase its population by 50%, has no plan for the common good. We have developers developing Can Station. We have developers developing the docks with the view to selling off property. And then we have other various ones by the university and no overall plan. Kahir, look, I won't make your job difficult. Kermagat.